Party dance time. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here. To stick around. We've got a video message. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have solar physics and planetary movements. We're taking a look at Venus, Earth, and Mercury as they dance around the sun. Venus is at the top, Earth's in the middle, and then Mercury slides out the back. You may be asking yourself lately, man, why is the world going crazy? And I'm here to tell you, because the sun is going crazy. Like super crazy. Like patow, patang, badang. Oh, that was goofy. Did you see that? Did you see that on the 30th? That was a full on major blast, Brosif. Whereas I've gone on and on and on about how solar maximum is a gross oversimplification. The last few days, I've been watching the sun with my own eyes, unprotected. And hey, guess what? She's going crazy. She's in the heat, bro. And everybody else is saying we're going to have a really low, solar low, mini ice age, maunder minimum. But uh, I've disagreed with that. All right, look at those wonderful magnetic loopy things coming off of Venus. They look wonderful, defined, definitive, electrifying, and loopy. Hypnotizing, really. If you notice, it's a flashy thing right there. That one flashes a lot. What is it? I don't know. Somebody can tell me, maybe. Maybe they can't. Maybe we'll never know. Anyway, see so yeah, we had a giant blast. Other people have reported the magnetosphere is going crazy. It looks like that might be true. So expect weird weather. People that act really weird. And general instability. So I'm going to call upon you to be cool, stay cool, and don't freak out too much. Now let's switch on over to our favorite black and white 1940s camera, the HI-2 camera. Let's go, shall we? All right, we have now shucked and jived on over to the stereo head HI-2 camera. And you might be saying to yourself, holy crap, what am I looking at? And what you're looking at is a monster movie from the 50s. We have giant planetary blobs coming to kill us all. Asterisk? Okay, that's probably not true. You probably made that up. Is it funny? If it was funny, then it was worth it. If it wasn't funny, then I'm sorry. Back to what the hell am I looking at? All right, good question. You can see you're looking at Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Saturn. Got that? Whoa! What you were looking at there is the camera barrel rolling. One thing I don't know about is that thing right there. And that's the one I really always want to know about. I'm like, what the hell is that? And you may be looking at this technology going, is this really 2016 4K? No, no, it's not. It's a NASA camera. And as much as I joke around with NASA, I do enjoy the people in their solar division. They've always been cool to me. Yeah, look at Venus. It's like a yin and yang. Kind of weird, huh? Could somebody tell me what Nibiru this is? I mean, what planet or whatever. The Death Star looking thing that we always see right there. Looks just like a, jet death, looks just like a death star. Seems about as clear as um, Venus is. So if anybody can tell me what that Herculubian looking thing is, I'd appreciate it. As you can see, Venus comes in towards the end, and all this crap is what we call the interstellar medium. It's like dust, asteroids, uh, space trash, you know, plastic wrappers and stuff. You would like to think that alien civilizations are beyond using non-biodegradable trash. So yeah, we got the giant chrono mass ejection. That's definitely some mass that was ejected. Chunk coming out right there. All right. And here, we're taking a quick peek, meander gander, at Stereo Headcore 2. All right, quick rundown on this one. Get everybody up to speed. The white circle in the middle represents the sun. The black, the big black circle over the white circle represents NASA's occult ing disk to block out the sunlight so we can see protrusions and giant shafts of light like we're seeing now. What we have here is the sun baby. It's pretty self-explanatory. What we have here is the giant cat hair of doom. And then what we have here are the boob hills, nicknamed by Sage. So that's not being chauvinistic of me. Thanks, Sage. All right, everybody got that? We're clear on this thing? All right, let's go. Boom. Now, the official book on solar activity is that it's been low, though technically it's been extremely high. And on this camera, the giant massive blast in the 30th didn't look as impressive. But, oh, let me tell you, it was. Look at that thing. The sun is just streaming and beaming, blowing and going. It's just click, click, booming all over the place. You got your basic standard lightsaber sticking out. You got your daggers of light, your chicken feet, your phoenix head, your phoenix head. Whoa. You see that on the 30th? Okay, maybe that one did look big. We're going to go back to that, shall we? Oh, yeah. And see this black disc here? That's occulting disc number two. I forgot about that one. We don't know where it came from. We don't know what's there. We don't know why it's there. But it is. So this was just yesterday. I wonder if it's Earth-facing. I don't even know. Yeah, look at that thing. Look at that giant freaking liftoff. Solar birds. Solar birds. And you, you'll notice you'll notice those areas. They're all black. Which is weird because the sun is made of light. That's weird looking, huh? Yeah, look at that thing. I think if the sun is that circle, you could definitely fit a couple suns in there. You see that shape break out? Like a bird. It's celestial birds of light. 
And then we got one on the 31st, popping off the top. Whoa, looks like to end the day, UTC time. We had another giant blast. And you can see the sun, baby, y'all. Beautiful, like, scary, ain't it? All right, cool. The more you know.